9.2, example 2. In this example, we're going to be looking at the series for sine of x and cosine of x. So when your calculator actually computes sine and cosine of certain numbers, it doesn't actually just memorize numbers or plug them into sine or cosine. It's much faster and much easier for it to plug it into a polynomial. So what happens is your calculator runs this series and will plug in the x value you want into the Taylor polynomial. So the first thing we want to do if we want to construct a Taylor polynomial is we need a bunch of derivatives. So if I want the seventh order Taylor polynomial, I need the seventh derivative. So let's go. So start taking the derivative one by one, seven times and plug in zero. So now that we've done seven derivatives, you notice that we go 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1. And if we keep doing that forever, we get the pattern 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. So then what we're going to go ahead is we're going to go ahead and write that our Taylor polynomial using these values, right? This is a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, and so on. So we get p, and we write a subscript of 7 of x. So this is a seventh term polynomial. You get 0 plus 1x plus 0 over 2 factorial x squared minus 1 over 3 factorial x cubed plus 0 over 4 factorial x to the fourth plus 1 over 5 factorial x to the fifth plus 0 x to the 6 over 6 factorial minus 1 over 7 factorial x to the 7th. And we could keep that pattern going on forever. So getting rid of my 0 terms, I get that my 7th order polynomial is going to be x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial. Right? These 0 terms just go away. Also notice that if you go to the eighth polynomial, you would be adding a zero over eight factorial x to the eighth. So the eighth term polynomial is equal to the seventh term polynomial. Now to form the Taylor series for sine of x, we're just gonna follow that pattern. And you can see that every time we do it, we're just going to raise the power of the polynomial by two, and then the factorial on the bottom is also raised by two each time. So notice that these are all odd numbers. Now let's talk about how to get an odd or an even number really quick. So any odd number can re be represented by 2n plus one, and any even number can be represented just by 2n when n comes from the integers. And integers are numbers like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. If, basically whole numbers that can be negative. So if you were to plug in any whole number, negative or positive, into 2n plus 1, you get an odd number. Do the same for 2n and you get an even number. So if I want to write sine of x as a series, it's going to be sigma from when n equals 0 to infinity. Now it alternates. So notice that it goes from positive to negative to positive to negative to positive to negative, and so on. So I'm going to need a negative 1 to the n. Now the question is, do I start positive or negative? I start positive, so I want negative 1 to the n, not n plus 1. Okay, Divided by, and I want an odd number, 2n plus 1 factorial. So when I plug in 0, I get 1 factorial, which is 1. When I plug in 1, I get 2n plus 1. So that's 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3 factorial. Perfect. When I plug in 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Perfect. And you do the same thing for the power. x to the power of 2n plus 1. And that's how I'm going to make the series representation for sine of x. 
So again, sine of x is equal to all of that. And again, this is what your calculator plugs x into when it wants to calculate. So it plugs it into that, which plugs it into that. Okay, on your own, I want you to construct the sixth order Taylor polynomial and the Taylor series for cosine of x at x equals zero. So basically, I want you to do the same thing we just did for sine, but now for cosine. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take six derivatives and plug in zero. All right, so now that I've done that, I get that p of zero is one, the first derivative is zero, sec second derivative is negative one, and so on. I can see the pattern. So the next step is to write out all of my terms. So I get p of x is equal to 1 plus 0 over 1 factorial x minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus 0 over 3 factorial x cubed plus 1 over 4 factorial x to the fourth plus 0 over 5 factorial x to the fifth minus 1 over 6 factorial x to the sixth. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of my zero terms. So what I'm doing now is called rewriting it with the non-zero terms. 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus x to the sixth over 6 factorial. So that's writing the polynomial with four terms, or a six-order polynomial because it's to the sixth power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the Taylor series. So that the, what I just wrote was a for a six order polynomial. Now I'm going to write the Taylor series. And it starts with a one, then minus x squared over two factorial plus x to the fourth over four factorial minus x to the sixth over six factorial plus x to the eighth over eighth factorial minus x to the 10th over 10 factorial and so on. Notice the pattern. As soon as you start seeing the pattern, you can go ahead and write the sequence. Notice all of the powers are even numbers and notice all of the terms in the denominator are even numbers and two four six they're consecutive even numbers another thing you need to pick up is that these signs alternate negative positive or positive negative positive negative so in order to get the alternate signs you write that as negative one to the n depending if you want to be positive or not at first if you want to be negative you just throw in an n plus one and then to get an even number it's 2n. Okay, so we're going to use that to go ahead and write our sigma. So it's sigma from n equals 0 to infinity. I need the alternating, so negative 1 to the n, divided by 2n factorial x to the 2n. Because each time you plug in a new n value, you always go up by 1. So you plug in 1, then 2, then 3, and so on. 